If you use a ventilator to breathe, or if you have an artificial airway, such as a tracheostomy tube or laryngectomy tube, receiving proper humidification is essential. The best way to deliver humidification to the airways is by using a heated humidifier. A heated humidification system provides the patient with comfort and will prevent damage to the airways and will prevent serious complications such as hypothermia and airway obstruction. Join me this week as I discuss heated humidification systems. I will cover topics such as who should use a heated humidifier, the proper settings for a heated humidifier, and I will share some basic troubleshooting tips. A humidifier is a device which releases water vapor to increase moisture levels in the air. The amount of moisture in the air is called humidity. There are two systems which provide humidification. There is active humidification and passive humidification. Active humidification is achieved via the use of a heated humidifier and passive humidification is accomplished via the use of a heat and moisture exchanger abbreviated as HM. E. These two systems warm and humidify gases delivered to the airways. Heated humidifiers operate actively to increase the heat and water vapor content of inspired gas. Heat and moisture exchangers operate passively by storing heat and moisture from the patient's exhaled gas and releasing it to the inhaled gas. In this video, my primary focus will be on heated humidifiers. For more information about heat and moisture exchangers, please see the video, Heat and Moisture Exchangers Essential Info. Humidification is recommended for every patient receiving invasive ventilation. When the upper airway is bypassed and invasive ventilation is utilized, humidification is necessary to prevent hypothermia disruption of the airway cells, airway spasms, complete or partial collapse of the lung, and airway obstruction. Humidification is also suggested for non-invasive ventilation, high flow oxygen therapy, and patients with a tracheostomy or laryngectomy tube, as humidification may improve comfort. When providing active humidification to patients who are invasively ventilated, it is suggested that the device provide a gas temperature between 34 degrees Celsius and 41 degrees Celsius and a humidity level between 33 milligrams of water per liter and 44 milligrams of water per liter with a relative humidity of 100%. Many active humidifiers are capable of delivering gas at a temperature up to 41 degrees Celsius. However, a maximum delivered gas temperature of 37 degrees Celsius is recommended. According to the International Organization for Standardization, a sustained delivered gas temperature above 41 degrees Celsius represents a potential thermal hazard to the patient. During routine assessments of the breathing circuit, it is important to look for small beads of condensation in the patient's air hose to ensure optimal humidification. Follow this basic flowchart to check for any potential issues with the heated humidifier. The first step is to inspect the circuit and look for condensation. If condensation is not visible, check the water level in the humidification chamber. If the chamber is empty, fill the water chamber with distilled or sterile water. If there is water in the water chamber, increase the humidifier temperature. If there is condensation visible, check to see if there is excess condensation. Normal condensation in the circuit will look like small beads of water. If normal condensation is visible, no adjustment is needed. If there is excess water in the circuit, remove the excess condensation. Check the heater wires to make sure they are connected properly. If necessary, decrease the humidifier temperature. After making any adjustments to the circuit, wait an hour and then reassess. 
continue reassessing the circuit until proper condensation is achieved. Please note, after several hours of running the heated humidifier, there may be a small collection of water in the circuit. This is normal and no adjustments to the heated humidifier need to be made. If the inspired gas has a temperature higher than 37 degrees Celsius and is 100% saturated, condensation occurs. When air is warmed and moistened in the heated humidifier, it exits the water chamber and travels through the ventilator tubing. As the air travels, it begins to cool down. As the air cools down, it loses its ability to hold water. The excess water from the air condenses and has a tendency to accumulate in the lowest part of the tubing. The condensed water creates resistance and will interfere with gas delivery. For this reason, when condensation accumulates in the tubing, it is necessary to clear the water. To clear the water from the circuit, you can do two things. You can lift the tubing and drain the condensed water back into the water chamber. Or, alternatively, you can disconnect the patient from the ventilator tubing, turn off the ventilator, disconnect the tubing from the hu heater humidifier, and carefully drain the excess water into another chamber. Once the water is drained, connect the tubing back to the heated humidifier, turn back on the ventilator, and reconnect the patient to the ventilator. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.